Today I want to discuss on how to create an edge dislocation using molecular dynamic simulations. So first of all what is a dislocation? A dislocation is nothing but a one dimensional defect. So if you see in this schematic, these spherical balls are rep represent the atoms and they are bonded together in a crystal lattice. And if you see there is an extra plane of atoms or you can either see it as an extra plane, a half plane of atoms are removed below. So the strain is along the edge of the plane. So on this edge, there are actually broken bonds if you remove half plane of atoms or if you insert an extra half plane of atoms from the above, they are free atoms. So actually there is more energy here which is not uh, compensated by other atoms. So that is how uh, the strain is created in a lattice and that is called a dislocation. Now how to create and edge dislocations in FCC materials. So the edge dislocation is actually represented by this Burgess vector half 1 1 by 0 and if you see this is a AB 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 stacking and if you see the Burgess vector is B1 which represents this one and 1 1 by 0 actually has 4 plane of atoms AB AB. So if you take half of 1 1 by 0 it actually represents A and B planes. So to create, we have to remove two plane of atoms, not one plane of atoms. If you remove one plane of atoms, the AB-AB stacking is disrupted, which is not correct. And now, if you see here, after you remove the plane of atoms, here the spacing between the lattices is actually N into Burgess vector B, and here it's actually N minus one into Burgess vector B. So to to reduce the strain causing due to this uh, lack of uh, plane or the lack of half plane of atoms, you change the boundary uh, by half on the, you reduce by half on the upper lattice and increase the spacing by half in the lower lattice. That is how you create an edge dislocation. And now, if you see, uh, this B1 is actually half 1, 1 bar 0. So the stacking along this direction is actually 1 1 by 0 and this uh, stacking is actually ABC ABC stacking which is nothing but FCC stacking 1 1 1 stacking and the dislocation line is actually represented by 1 1 2 by 2 bar so this stacking along this direction is actually 1 1 2 bar so I will use these conditions to create an edge dislocation in lamps now, if you see here, uh, what I do is I create an Xbox, uh, in and the Xbox actually represents the number of unit cells along this direction. So I am creating three unit cells here, and 14 in y direction and 15 in z direction, and this is the lattice parameter 3.52. And if you see the spacing along the dx is actually square root 6 by 2 because at 1, 1, 2 bar you can write as half, half, minus 1 which gives square root 6 by 2 and dx you know it's uh, square root 2 and dz is square root 3 and uh, to get the total length along these directions you do the number of unit cells into the lattice parameter into the spacing so you get like this and the z half actually represents the uh, upper lattice and the lower lattice which I will show you later and this B2 is nothing but the Burgess vector so this is the magnitude of the Burgess vector now uh, what I do is uh, later so here uh, what we do is uh, we actually represent uh, this uh, central glide plane of atoms so what you have to do you have to remove two plane of atoms so I rep uh, to define the region of those two planes, I am doing like this. So this y2 actually is nothing but the y box half. So if this is the y length, I am taking half. So I get one plane of atoms. And then I add just the dy by 4 because there are four planes along the y direction. I take dy by 4 plus 0.1 so that I can account for the second half plane also. And I for uh, guarantee I do this minus 0.5 and plus 0.5 to y2 and y1 and later 
I give the general settings which is three dimensional box I am using periodic conditions in all three direction units are metals and atomic style is atomic and now I go to here so I, I create upper and lower regions as well as the simulation box so first I create the whole box here this is the whole box I, I am creating this and later uh, I create the lat lat lattice upper and the lattice lower so you can see the difference between lattice upper and lattice lower is lattice upper is represented by 0 to half and lattice lower is represented by half to full length and if you see the orientation of all these three are the same and I am creating atoms and I am grouping these atoms as upper and lower now what I do is so I am defining the potential file here so this is an EAM potential file and this is a potential file I am using so there is nickel here so I am just uh, interacting between two nickel atoms and now this neighbor and neighbor modifier you already know so it's just to understand the neighboring atoms how they are and now after we go to the next one So we delete the plane of atoms here, we delete the plane of atoms, so I, I define the region, so first I have to define the region for the plane of atoms to be removed and then I delete the atoms and I am writing this so that I can view the structure to see how many plane of atoms are removed and later I am changing the box length along the z direction. I am adding some vacuum along the z direction by, by this you can see so that uh, there is no uh, periodic condition along z direction if there is periodic condition it will be like a, uh, it will be like two lattices up upon each other which is not correct and then I am changing the box length to Burgess vector b2 so I have told you that I have to change the box length to b by 2 so I am doing the same thing I am changing the box length here and now this thermo 1000 represents that I count the calculate every 10,000 thermodynamic steps and this thermo style represents uh, what parameters I want to see in the screen and later I I minimize so that this is uh, my minimization conditions and then so that I can get a relaxed structure now I am dumping all these into dump atom so when you uh, relax this run this code uh, you get a dump atom which when you open in the Ovito file so I am opening this in Ovito file so this is an Ovito analysis which is post analysis so I am going to elastic strain calculation here and later I am changing the particle radius to 0.5 so that I can do it nicely and now I am in zooming it nearer and now after that I go and do color coding in color coding in color coding I choose this one volumetric strain and I, I do this adjust range below this given so I press that so that I can see it very clearly now I'll show you one thing so I go to the initial so what I do is I go to the initial point and when I play this you can see after during relaxation how the strain is changing in the crystal lattice so if you see clearly so these are two Shockley partials uh, and what I see here is so now I go here to this part now I go to the dislocation analysis and I can I remove the defect mesh I remove the particles and if I see closely uh, it's actually a perfect dislocation so you can see that the Burgess vector direction is actually in this direction which is very clear which is 111110 direction and now what I do is I, if I can show you that it's a perfect dislocation and now I go to the second part so you can see that there are two Shockley partials that are created and if you see again clearly it's actually represents like this 
So this is how you can do post processing analysis of a edge dislocation and you should know that uh, this is how the strain inside a lattice looks like and thank you very much for watching this video hope you had learned something and if you have any questions please comment below i would willing to answer any questions which i can and thank you very much uh, have a good day